this thing on? What's up, y'all? You're joining us at the end of our saga, believe it or not. Two weeks in the life of a land-based shark fishing charter and full-time fisherman. Mm -hmm. You are about to embark on a complete epic adventure with us. We have eight or nine charters that we've gone through through this video. We've got tons of really cool bait missions, but also just a lot of life talk. And you're basically yeah. getting to ride along with Blaine and myself for two weeks and see the ins and outs of what we get to do kind of behind the scenes of sorts but before we dive into it i want to tell you guys we have one spot open we do indeed the coastal worldwide squad is expanding my friends and we are hiring two crews on for this summer we have three guys one crew makes two guys so we need four total we have three we need one so coastal dash worldwide go to our website there will be a tab up if it's not up right now it will be it pretty soon there will be a full-on hiring process to get those resumes scrubbed out, get a, lever, a cover letter that it's pertaining to the job you're applying for. Take it very seriously because we will be going through a lot of apl applicants. And if we can't find the one that we want for our clients, we will not hire somebody. We yep. will just one, run one crew this summer. So if you guys are interested, if you guys know what we do, you don't even have to have shark fishing experience. Just be a good kid show up on time and be ready to work we can train you to shark fish baby but we can't teach you to be a good human being so let's dive into the episode let's get right to it baby day number one. Oh, oh all right what's going on coastal worldwide guys welcome home a little bit different format this week for the video but it's been a really long week um blaine and myself we're just stopping the gas station here we're gonna get some energy drinks going for yet another 12 hour trip today and uh it's been it's been a long week it's been a long start to march so really um just want to walk you guys kind of how the week's been what we've been up to um and then really just get a hangout session with you guys we've had a lot of people asking for these shark fishing episodes and it's really tough we've talked about it a bunch of times but it's really tough to get full form videos do really good filming and editing like we normally like to do in our long form videos while also running you know full all-inclusive trips with our clients because we do um, try to make these experiences really you know intuitive really in depth so here's Blaine Blaine's got our energy for the night no the way Celsius. the new Celsius is this the blue crush mine I don't know whatever you want I don't know right, go ahead, man. you you found them so you can I haven't had either of them what do you want what's your favorite I haven't had either of them. I don't know what was my favorite. Well, what, like off the top of your head, what do you think? I, your favorite? I want the blue crush. Dang. So you had an opinion, you just didn't know. <laughs> I was right. going to give you first pick. You know? Man, that's super sweet of you. All right. So I was just telling them, I was just telling them how, you know, we've got another 12 hour trip tonight. Oh, yeah. So he's going to be crazy. What? Right, right in your face hole. It's the not Abuse too bad. Look, 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 look. Oh, okay. That's like, he can bad. see you and everything. I mean, I'm sure if I like got up in here, it'd be, it'd be kind of weird. The Outcast sale is going on, by the way. Um, we did not get to partake last year. Fun fact for the Outcast sale, Jake, Jakey Poo, our Jakey Poo is coming back, by the way. Um, but Jake, who lives in Idaho, myself and Blaine and Dom, right? Mm -hmm. All four, whole squad, whole Coast Worldwide squad, stayed up, got here like midnight, and we actually did the whole like. I think you got to do it once in your life with Outcast. So you come here the day before it opens, you take your zero gravity chairs, you kick back. And uh, we slept it out, man, until like, what, five o'clock in the morning. First one's through the door. And I think uh, we got a couple pro Protease rods and the guys got some popping rods. And Was it necessary? Absolutely not. Anything we got <laughs> the, during, that, the, during that sleep was not used as much anymore, but that's okay. There's also a major traffic jam because of this here. But anyways, we're heading to the beach today. We are in Pensacola, Florida. Um, but really what I wanna do is just walk you guys through up to the events so it's march 10th today march 10th and it's probably our what sixth seventh trip of the month Blaine. um we've had a few bad uh, days bad yeah. weather days um but we've got gopro video of everything and i want to walk you guys through exactly how the bite's been without getting t-boned nice so join us back first trip of the month was on sunday it was on a sunday right no dude i'm just oh, gonna get man. the calendar out it's been a long week guys yeah um, which is not bad. We've always, we, you know, February throughout the winter, the trips slow down a lot, which I, obviously as you guys can see on our YouTube channel, if you go back, this is the first video you found, go back, watch some of our older videos and we get to go slow pitch jigging, tuna fishing. We get to even to go personal shark fishing and we get to bring the main camera and we're doing this whole like, what's up 
doing this and then b-roll and it's all like smooth and silky and like yeah. very planned i mean for those of you who don't know when we go film like um next month we have a really big trip that we'll probably talk about at some point in this video so stay all the way through but um you know when we go on this big trip and we're flying we have this whole already already have the the shoots planned basically um i think that's really important if you're going to try to do some high quality videos is you got to plan these these films out you know you gotta make sure that you know okay when we leave the airport this is what we're shooting when we get to the airport when we get to the place when we get in the you know the car transportation to go when we get to the boat and we're loading the boat the night before all this stuff so anyways we got the calendar out here so i can actually remember so it is sunday starting navarre an eight hour trip remember that trip now we caught the first bull shark of the year yes yeah yes, yes, yes. <laughs> like i said it's been a long week so i'm going to take you guys first off today's a sunday so i'm gonna take you a week from now to start our first trip of march first spring break trip Say do it. Sunday first bull shark of the year super epic clients and then this week we have some surprises that's already happened first of the year first 10 foot fish of the year so enjoy that I'm gonna roll it back and then you guys will join Blaine and myself on the beach tonight for tonight's trip tomorrow's trip which is Monday and then Wednesday's trip hopefully and then at the end of the week uh, I'm not sure I have to cut this video at some point but um, just want to kind of connect with you guys man these uh these full form videos can be pretty neat so we are heading to the beach. Well, actually, we're going to go look for cow nose. So I don't know how I'm going to format this video. But at some point, I'll cut you guys back and we'll, we'll do it. But um, the cow, the, the ray baits have been hot. Yeah. That has pretty much been the, uh, all week. What have we caught else on that hasn't been ray bait? Uh, we've, got, we've got runs on Cuda 
Two and, to, two and, two and a and heads. That's yeah. right. That's right. But no full commits. On yeah, the Monday. Trip. Also, the Monday trip that you guys were to run through was nuts. I, like, borderline canceled the trip. Had to get into our skeevies. Uh, hopefully, we got... I don't know if we got any video of, like, us kayaking. And Monday. Orange. It was Monday, Orange, Orange Beach. Beach. Yeah, Monday, Orange Beach. And we'll talk to you guys how we run trips on Orange Beach, too, like, legally and all that fun stuff, too. So, <sighs> first, first race stop up here, so... All right, in the last last 30 minutes after getting all these rods set in this not great conditions right here, this one's gotten picked up, the other one just got picked up, and now we're getting smoked on the 80. Maybe they wanted, to earn us, wanted us to earn it today. That's nuts, dude. We've been on trips before, and we've gotten picked up in the first five minutes, yeah. but we've never, I have never gotten picked up on all three rods in the first 30 minutes. That's tight at least. Alright, if you float like right here, you gotta get those flips in your hands. You gotta come down with him. But he's gonna bring it back to you. Yep, and so both of those, if you bring your hands down just a little bit like that, just like there, yep, you're just gonna pop pop. Still there? Welcome back, welcome yeah. back. Let's get her back in. Get in there, boy! It's a tuna tango, baby! Get out of here! Let's go, baby! Congrats, bro! Congrats! That is sick, man! Monday, baby. Monday was the trip that we were like, there's sometimes when we run these trips and we're looking at the weather where it's like, okay, we're gonna have to cancel. But if you can kind of put yourselves in our shoes a little bit, it is spring. It's the start of like our busy season, quote unquote. And there's a lot of money on the table without being too monetary with you guys. You know, mm -hmm. it is obviously, we want our clients to have a good time. We wanna have the best chance possible at catching a shark and delivering the experience that we anticipate. But at the end of the day, you gotta make money. 
you got to get out there and you got to join a trip and monday was one of those when bland and i are going to these sort of trips it's just like look if we can grind this out and and get paid Ooh, guy we'll be uh we'll be fine you know and then obviously you know if we if we think that the weather is so rough that even if we get baits out it's not going to be a good shark fishing trip we will cancel the trip at the end of the day at the end end of the day yes you have to get paid but no it's never worth like taking someone's money putting them in a bad spot just to get a paycheck from them that's yeah. immoral and incorrect to do so monday was right on the edge of like i don't know it's spring spring if you, for those of you who don't know is just absolutely nutso bite sandbars bull sharks tippers everywhere there are some big sharks sprinkled in but for the most part it's one of the most guaranteed months outside of like november december that i can basically say we're probably 99 percent going to catch on this trip at yeah. some point and we're probably going to catch multiple so on this trip super nuts blaine and i basically kill ourselves to get three baits set had to get down our underwear and i know that may not seem like a big deal to you guys but 65 degrees outside south winds like crazy two three foot waves really choppy gulf short interval waves and 60 degree water for us that is freezing we were like stretching getting ourselves hyped up like wow let's go let's go and then we jump in we get three baits set and i'm talking three baits set one rod knocked down stop next rod knocked down drop third rod drop down knock all three baits got picked up within 30 minutes of being there then within 30 minutes of being there the the deal got tight i might have to grab that in a second mm -hmm. trying to find parking out here in palafox Curb there. Yeah, and no, I'm gonna send it over the curb. Forward life. No, you're good. You're good. Now don't back up. I'm I'm past you now. She's looking at you like you did something wrong there. Did I do something wrong there? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. No, I don't have super high confidence in this spot, but we will see. Yeah, this is one of those like they're here, they're not here kind of thing. I think I can do this, right? Hold on, let me watch these people go by. Yeah, I'm gonna pull up a little bit. Try to keep uh the old deer field cart from being in the middle yeah. of this. Okay, quick checks, quick checks. Right. Let's go, you guys. Really fast. Either they're here or they're not. But sometimes we have, and past times, gotten rays really, really quick here. So, ooh, we didn't grab the gaff either. I got this. Ooh, snagging set up here. A little dual treble action. 60 pound fluorocarbon leader. Weighted treble at the end. The Soro 8K on the JYG Pro Series rods. Still putting these rods to the paces. Blaine, you've got a nice black fin on this rod, though. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah very nice, very nice. All right, so at this spot, we're just, it's just a strictly like Blaine and I are going to stand on each side. You just walk and look. The water's pretty dingy. Sometimes the water's really clear up here in North Pensacola Bay. But you just kind of walk through, look around. Obviously, it's just a sight casting thing. So, Looking for cow nose stingray, especially since that's been the money bait. You should check the walking spot first. The walking spot? Okay. Mm -hmm. In the truck? Up here? <coughs> All right. So Palafox was a bust, obviously. I didn't have high confidence, but it is super fast to check this spot. And it's on the way. So um, as you guys saw, Monday's trip, cold for sure. Cold, cold, cold. But um, worthwhile, obviously. We just got stuck with rain. Nope, you can't. You can't do that. You gotta look when you drive. He's <laughs> looking straight down. Was he? Yeah. You do have to look up. Yeah, when you drive your car, that's most of the time what happens. I love the beach, and I'm not gonna be one of those people that's just like, God, I hate all these tourists. But at the same time, winter time is so nice here. So in Pensacola, for those of you who do not know, even mainland Pensacola right now, we're in we're in the downtown area. As soon as spring break starts, it'll maybe let off a little bit in April. Mm -hmm. And then obviously summertime is summertime, but it just, there's just so many people here. The traffic gets backed up and it's just when you bring people who are not from the area, obviously don't know how to drive in the area. So it'd be kind of jerkish of me to be like, bro, what are you driving so slow for? What are you, you don't know where to turn? Well, of course they don't know where to turn. They're following Google Maps. This is probably the second time they've ever been here in their life, but doesn't make it any less slightly annoying. <laughs> but I'm trying not to be a grumpy old man because look, we live in a tourist area. That's my opinion on this whole thing. That's how we make our money. Yeah, we, we, we need to make money off of tourism. So when the tourism shows up, you can't be like a grumpy pants. So many people that like fish or like even make money off the tourist industry that I just constantly see complaining about, oh, there's just so many people here and blah, blah, blah. Bro, you live in a tourist town. What do you think is gonna happen? Every single year, you live in a beach town. People are gonna come to the water. People are drawn to the beach and the ocean. So 
But if I could put my little two cents in, I do wish people would pay more attention. <laughs> But hey, they're on vacation. Yeah, it's. Easy, yeah. I feel like it's easier for you to see that because you, at one point you were a tour, mm -hmm. tourist to this area. Yeah, I used to come right down so to like, this area. Locals are more poopy pants about it. No, oh, you have like more of a right. I don't know. No, no, I'm just kidding. Because <laughs> I, I lived far enough from the beach that I didn't deal with that. Yeah. All right, so the next spot we're going to here. Enough talking about tourism and being in poopy pants. We are going to use the drone. So basically it's really nice when you have a drone like this to look for rays. Um, and I encourage you guys who shark fish, who need some fresh bait every once in a while, it's super, super easy to just, you know, four or 500 bucks. I know it may seem like, I'm trying to get Blaine in the frame there. It may seem like a lot, but it's not a, what the heck is, is these the police walking yeah. on the rocks? Yeah. Excuse me, sir. That's a new one. Looking for, looking for, looking for like You could probably get it. the Mavic Air like minis or whatever they're, they're like two or three hundred bucks right? yeah just make sure your camera is good because it needs to be able to live stream your camera in 1080 back to your phone so you can actually see what you're looking mm -hmm. for but um we have the mavic air 2 and we just use it for i mean we use it for video it's really nice to have a different perspective blah blah, blah. but outside of video for our charters getting bait is a big deal and so this makes it super easy without having to spend hours without the drone Blaine, Dom, Blaine, ja Jake, Jake and Dom would have to go out here and spend six hours walking flats, looking, walking, looking, walking, looking. And now we can just put the drone up and pretty much 30, 40 minutes be like, oh, there's no rays on that flat or there's only two and it may not be worth it or there's a hundred and it's definitely worth it. So we're going to slide up here over three mile bridge and um, we're going to see if we can't find some more rays. It's one o'clock right now start at 6 p.m. we really like to get to the beach at 4 so we have an hour to set up we start getting baits out at 5 that way when the client gets there at 6 it's just one guy tonight for a 12 hour the baits are already out we're already fishing etc etc so while we're driving over three mile bridge i'll go ahead and run come on dylan where's your memory at wednesday monday was there wednesday was navarre we went back to navarre the first thing that we've ever had happen before that we've never seen is is when we got had to get in the kayak and like get the whole thing undone and, oh, like, yeah, yeah. during the mid fight big snack yeah um three guys eight hour trip back in navarre again on wednesday so i'm gonna roll you guys that clip pretty pretty insane day and pretty fun trip to be completely honest with you. that was a super fun trip I guess. All right, Mr. Johnny, you can come up here, step into it like a pair of pants. Is there anything in your pockets? Yeah. Yeah, you can just set them on the table. It'll, it'll squish anything in your pockets. Okay. All right, ready? You can put your left hand on my shoulder if you need to. Step into it like a pair of pants. Just right here. Now right, you're good. Step into that big hole. Yep. Okay. Well, if you want to take that plate from me, I'm gonna go up and around like this. This won't save your life. It's just gonna keep that uh, plate from falling down. I'm just gonna bring a little bit snug here. Get him, baby! Come tight, come tight, come tight. There he is. <laughs> All right, baby! <laughs> Once you get tight there, it's tight. I feel like I'm 10 years quick, old. Quick, 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 quick. Don't run away, Donnie. Put it in there, Donnie. All right, clip one, clip two. Clip these. Okay. Yep. One. Two, clip two. Alright, as soon as you're clipped, take your hand up on me. Take your hand up on me. Boom, you're in. Nope. Alright, you're good there. I'm gonna start lifting your car. Let's go down a little bit. Okay. There we go, you're good. You keep rocking. You keep reeling and we'll work around you. Okay. Woo! I just cranked. Ah, you're in. I don't know how far it's out of the crank. There we go, baby! All 
right. Yep. Perfect. Got y'all, baby. Gotcha. Yeah, you can just sit up there. Let's go, number one. Good job. 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 Good Oh, that's a big one. Here we go, Jared. Flip her on. Yeah. on. Oh, he's really tight. All right, there got it. Go. Going straight on it. Double time, double time, double time. Catch him. Right. <laughs> there he is. Get that weight back. Yes. Way back. Way back. Hold on, hold on. Step around for a second. Go ahead and center your weight again. Get those legs side by side. He right. almost pulled string right there, baby. Here we go. Catch him again. Forward, it's going to pull you in. Yeah. Gotta be getting close. Yeah, that's why, that's we why. are getting pretty close. Okay, that's why. That's okay. Big oh, hold him, right hold him. Don't reel through it. Don't reel through it. You're good. You're good. Stay right there. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Look at that. Oh. Rod, man. Look tied up. Like head shakes. Here we go. Yeah, I need you. I need you on the run. Should we all pull it together? Or? No, we'll be. How about if I just let you guys do it? It shouldn't. It shouldn't. He do. shouldn't move. So. <laughs> okay. Come on, come on, get over that. How are you doing? Bike and then I'm gonna just go out the car. You wanna do that, Don? What's that? Get in the kayak? Go in the kayak and free the giant shark no. off the whatever it's snagged no, on. He's doing a good job. I, <laughs> we'll just leave it to the professionals. <laughs> he said it's right there. Mono's right there. We might be able to get it on get on the other side of it and pull it off and then back over. That's the kayak like pitching on the mono. That's nuts. Yeah, I've right. never seen that before. Yeah, that all that super <laughs> random happens. That's nuts. Because you're gonna be up again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, we always see something new out here. We didn't we didn't charge the we didn't charge the drone like we should have. So like I said, it's been a long week. Maybe we haven't been the most efficient. Spot number two, no go for rays. Quick drone flight battery starting at 57%. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, I'd, I'd really like I'd really like some ray baits, but yeah, it's, be nice. it's that time of year they're gonna show up. But also, like if you don't find them in a couple days, you're also gonna like not have. I mean, we've gone through three rays this entire, like three whole count of rays this entire week on an old stock. So it would uh, definitely make me confident in the 12-hour trip if we if we get some ray baits. But can only do so much i guess if they're not here they're not here yet but last year like march 20th was when we caught our white shark so there's obviously still on the table for like some random pelagics and random besky sharks and random possible makos i know in past years you guys have caught makos like mid-march as well so 
who knows? It's that's why it's an exciting time of year. Is you could catch a bull shark, a black tip, a sandbar, tiger shark, obviously, dusky shark, possibly, mako, white shark. Like there's all these like species on the table, which other times of year you're not gonna see, you know, black tips and white sharks in the same like yeah. body of water. So we're gonna we got one more stop. We got one more race stop with the north winds. If it was south winds we can stop a couple other places on the bay side of the beach, but north winds will build the swell and it's a pretty stiff stiff old north wind so we uh we got we got calendars with jack on a stiff north wind at chicken bone yeah uh october right before mm -hmm. the they were on they were at chicken bone and they were off the beach that yeah. trip yeah. yeah jack's like birthday trip yeah mm -mm 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 -mm. so i mean we could check yeah we got if we have another drone battery yeah. why not and we've got we've got time last spot here we're actually going to pensacola beach we're gonna head west and uh, there's some flats on here too, so if you guys are ever looking for rays, West Pensacola Beach can be an easy place right before you get into Fort Pickens to find some rays. But uh, come April 1st, next month, Jake and Dom will be completely taking over trips because Blaine and myself, as I promised, would be talking about some of our travel trips coming up. And one trip that is definitely in the books and happening is a trip to Puerto Vallarta, Mexico, yep. Snook Mafia, three days fishing the Pacific Ocean, Pretty much for monster yellowfin tuna, but some side gigs will be Kubera snapper, rooster fish, a lot of like weird blue trevallis and weird reef species mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So um, we started this we started this journey for Porta mainly exactly almost on the date of me losing May 30th last year my monster yellowfin yeah. tuna at Rampal in the Sea Pro. So if you guys haven't seen that video, I lost the fish of my lifetime right next to the boat after an hour and a half after the real seat broke complete heartbreak and i was like that was a 200 pound plus tuna let's get back after it like let's not like let's make it happen so we found the most best people i know it's not a complete sentence <laughs> the oh jesus criminy you see that Oof. that's what i'm talking about that lady almost just hit me she wasn't even getting over you see that? That was close. I could have yeah. banged her with my door. Uh, anyways, we found the most best people, like I was saying, to catch monster yellowfin tuna with, and they get tuna up to 300 pounds in this area. Now, most likely, like 150 to 250 pounds. 250 would be a monster too, but there is can be possibility to see 300 pound plus mm -hmm. tuna. But as soon as I lost that fish, I was like, we're getting after it. And then I had no idea that Blaine over here and Mr. Glorious himself was gonna pop a 200 pound tuna in the Sea Pro at home at the lump. So big relief for that trip. Ah! 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 At least for Blaine. Myself personally have only caught like 130 pound ish, 125 pound tuna. <laughs> long time ago so that's what that trip is really for but we're super excited to maybe see you guys thinking you're gonna see some rays yeah i mean it's really shallow and really clear really flat maybe. um but yeah porta so we we're gonna be gone for five days and then possibly have another trip lined up in april too we're trying to finalize to another location that is gonna make us technically worldwide. But Mexico will be the first, you know, out of the United States trip that we do on the channel, which will be super exciting. And then we have some stuff this summer that is actually gonna make us worldwide, which is the goal. Um, but I don't wanna just force worldwide travel when we have things on the list here at home. Um, so we do have some stuff in our country this planned this year as well. But I say all this to say, Big thanks to Jake and Dom. They will be taking over the trips for us. And we have a lot of people ask us like, oh, so like these guys are working the trips for you. Can I have you? Like, can I have you and Blaine? Like I watch y'all's videos. You guys, the shark experts, you know, I don't know who these guys are. And I'm telling you right now, come like May, June, I would probably prefer to have Jake and Dom running my trip than Blaine and myself, mainly just because these guys are going to be working day in and day out. Dom is a four year vet of the shark fishing stuff. Dom was hired the year Blaine was hired. And so these guys are very, very good at their trade. Dom is probably one of the most underrated land-based shark fishermen that's not, you know, he doesn't do Facebook and he doesn't post his catches, but he has put clients on so many 10 foot fish it's not even funny and so uh these guys are, are a great crew excellent dudes 
good wholehearted people that uh, represent the company well, represent the business well. And we are very appreciative for it because as soon as they come in, they take over trips 100%. They will be crew number one. Blaine and I will only work the beach when we have to or somebody's sick. Um, and then we're gonna try to bring in a second crew for the summer as well. But April 1st, they come in, we go out and we're gonna start back on the full-time content. This month is pretty much like these types of videos. We're gonna be taking you guys on our shark fishing charters and stuff like that. And it's just not content that I really like enjoy making this is definitely you know a neat neat experience to talk with you guys but my heart and soul is really into like sitting down and just like grinding out some sick edits and some very nice high quality stuff um i don't even think this whole week we've taken the main camera out of the box so yeah um but yeah they come in we go out and that pretty much starts for the next what four months three months four months yeah, April into August Jake goes back home to Idaho yeah and then and we'll then, be uh, back we'll be back home yeah the shark content will probably continue if you guys enjoy the shark content there will be you guys got to go follow our charter page because there will be shark content being posted on our Instagram and our Facebook um, it may not be in the long form video but if you enjoy seeing sharks caught from the beach especially like you know with clients and day in day out and kind of like the grind of what those guys do we started up our charter page which is different from our coastal worldwide page so it's coastal worldwide shark fishing and uh they'll be posting they're getting reels on their phones and all this stuff and they'll be having gopros and blah 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 so that will be the that will be the move that will be the the shift that we're talking about is when they come in we go out we start traveling getting some full-time content and blaine and i start continuing our saga of uh chasing basically chasing our dreams and taking you guys right along with us but our dream right now is to keep fishing all the way through march yeah. so we're, we're dreaming right now my dream right now is to find freaking cow no stingray <laughs> pee dude i've got a pee don't get run over Stop. here we go it's happening What's the i just said up there was a propeller installation air you gotta check the prop. Go, 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 go. Spin the prop and. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, here we go. What are we seeing here? Yep, there's two right there. Where? Yeah, anyway, right there. Are those moo moo? Yes, those are 100% moo moos. Okay. Um, Do I need waiters or? Yeah, you're definitely gonna need waiters. Should I walk with you? Yes. Okay. I'm gonna switch you to the chest mount. All right, I didn't entirely realize how far away I was. So Blaine is going to run. I'm going to drive down the road while still monitoring the drone here. I don't think you can drone and drive, but I don't know if you guys can see, but there are two, two counters right here. So we've got two. Really all we need is at least one to make the trip like good. Move that. All right, I'm gonna drive down to the sign. I'm gonna drive down here where I can actually park and then I'm gonna get out too and start walking back towards Blaine because I saw about 10 or 15 really exciting stuff I'm very excited this gets me super pumped up to be able to possibly get some freeish bait so I don't have waders on so I'm just kind of gonna have to sight them out not the most ideal conditions to sight them out, but that's okay. All right, so I was able to see one from land. That's good. Hey, we were talking about the outcast sale earlier. Someone must have lost their free bucket that you get at the outcast sale. Woo! All right, baby, we are finally tight. Oh, that took way too long. Now we just can't pull hook. Yes, baby. Don't turn, don't turn, don't turn. Come on. All right, y'all. Blaine, let's just slide yours in here. Be careful when we get in there. All right, you think mine will go? All right, guys, two countos, finally. Third, <laughs> third spot, and we got to catch you guys up on the entire week, so. 
obviously now I blame myself we're gonna go to the beach get set up for a 12 hour with fresh bait always nice man Tigers, they have a, a mean end game. Like right, right within 50 yards of the beach, she's gonna get pissed. Park the bus like this, do a lot of weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take yeah. away. Boat up. Pull a little bit of string. Yeah, she's pulling a little bit of string here. <laughs> Wait, don't pull drag, my friends. <laughs> There we go. Low speed, low speed, low. So you're gonna be more power, less gain line, but it's gonna be a little bit more, less torquey. What? y'all so we are out at the beach as you can see set them up 12 hour trip and obviously our 200 paddle bait is going to be cow nose our 300 paddle bait is going to be jack creval head and then our 400 paddle bait is going to be cow nose and then we'll put a short bait yeah you're good we also ran into the cutest thing that we've seen on the beach today No Storm. way. Hey, cutie. Really? I'll let you get back to it. See ya. Oh my gosh. Well, that's adorable. <laughs> that's just cute. And then the fourth rod down here will be our shortest rod, just over the other side of the sandbar with probably like a blackfin head or a tuna head, some smaller bait. So four baits, long, not as long, definitely not as long, considered short. So. As you can see, there is a decent amount of people, not too bad. We're definitely right by a parking lot too. So a lot of people, a lot of people, but we're still not gonna get baits out for probably another hour. So kick back, relax in the chairs here, get a few things organized around. What do you got there, Blaine? Is that what, is that what we're gonna do? Go ahead, go ahead. Very nice, very nice. And a uh, little tip, little tip and trick while we're standing here. For those of you who are like, man, I know exactly where you guys are. As long as you don't set up on a snorkel reef, especially this time of year, Pensacola is Pensacola. If you set up roadside, if you set up West Pensacola, yeah, tomatoes, tomatoes. We just parked here because it's easy access to walk all of our gear down the beach. So um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't worry too much, especially spring, summer, fall. It's not, not that big of a deal. Pensacola is Pensacola. So um, we're gonna get out here, 
get after it, soak some baits. I'll introduce you guys to Scott tonight and uh, we'll do a little bit more of a immersive experience since we just got one client tonight with you guys and then uh, six hour tomorrow, six hour on Wednesday. So the saga continues, let's do it. Yo! All right, Mr. Scott, I'm gonna bring this around you. He's interested for sure. It's a white trying to fit in his mouth. Flip yeah, around. I'm trying to fit the bait. He's just flipping him around. That's a lovely sound, my friend. I do love that sound. That's a lovely, lovely, lovely sound. Yep. Yep. First one there, yeah, just put that left hand right there on the side of the reel or something. You kind of push down almost, you know, help you stick better. Got you tight. Let's go, baby. First little bit, yeah, just make sure we're staying tight with her. She's kind of pulling back with you. If she gets real, real tight, you can kind of cruise with it, but. All the way back over the 80 again, that's nuts. We don't normally have a move this much. <laughs> normally it's a pretty straight. The skills are pretty, pretty nuts. Heavy. Yeah. It's a tiger, baby! Second of the year! Oh, come on. I'm gonna roll the sleeves up on the old Coastal Worldwide sweatshirt, baby. I'm pumped. Doing <laughs> turn right there. Oh my gosh. Yeah, she's gonna go like eight foot. That's my guess. Eight, eight, eight foot class tiger. A real spunky mama right there. All right, here we go. Leader! Wop, wop. All right, hold on, I gotta get homeboy's line out of here. No, you're just caught up in mine. Yep. Yeah, you're all caught up here. Okay. Just to make sure she's submerged. Try to go ahead and start on the dehooking process there, Blake. <laughs> Keep some tension on that rod if you can. Keep a little bit of tension on it. You guys are good. You can crank, you can crank, you can crank. Nice tiger, man. Look at the colors on that fish. Unbelievable right. colors. Very nice, very nice. Turn her upright. My friends, my what friends, my friends. Dude, these fish are amazing. Tigers do not get old, my friend. All right, you good for a little release on her? Feeling good? Look at her. These creatures are just slow, cool, calm, collected. Man, I love that. Uh, I love these fish, dude. Yeah. Absolutely freaking amazing. There she goes, man. There <laughs> she goes, friends. Let's go, baby. Tigers don't get old, my friends. Woo! Phone? You know, they get older. Yeah, they do get, technically, they get older. All right, friends. First tiger on the 12 hour. Hey, guess what paid off? 
It was the fresh move. The fresh move move. The fresh move move. So a little bit of the grind. It was worth it. Got a hook? Yeah, hook came out right in the corner. She was all tangled up, like that weight was all yeah. tangled up. We'll figure it out in a second. Time to go celebrate with Scott. Scott got, Scott got soaked. That's a tiger, man. That is, that's like, that's like the fish. That was like one of my favorite sharks in the ocean. I had to cut and splice that guy's line. Yeah. You see it? Yeah. Tied the old uni uni what, during your release. Oh yeah. Through. Yeah, punch through him a little bit. Got him stuck, baby! Woo! Yeah. Alright, hooks out. Jeez. Fresh little scar right there. That's still bleeding from it though. God dang it. Fat female you know, bull. Or stable. everybody <laughs> all right baby Jesse, it's gonna blind me all right well let's just get real for a second <laughs> all right Crank, 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 crank. Keep that weight back as you come tight. Just keep plugging. Keep, keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Bear down on him. Big long drop. Pick it up tonight. Morning folks, so day number, I don't know, trip number six of the month. Oh, bed at 7 a.m., up at 1 p.m., straight to the house. We are now in Perdido Key, fishing today with a good friend of mine. I'll, I'll get some video time with you guys on this trip because uh, Zach's, Zach's a good friend of mine. We got some pretty solid background. I used to train Zach back in the day at the gym I used to work at. And then he became a good friend, a good fishing buddy. Hopefully we will be able to find some and then I don't even know how we get to the water. So one step at a time.
All right, y'all, set up on the beach. About to start running baits. Hey, but 80, Benita side, or Benita head. Hey, but 80, number two, Jack Carval. So two fish baits, Benita, Jack, Plains Pin 130, Fresh Cow Nose Wing that we just got today. And then on my TIG 130, whoa, whoa, whoa. Locked in. We've got a, uh, I'll, I'll walk over here just for you guys. Uh, nice middle section of cow nose right. For those of you who are wondering, these deer field spikes right here, these guys, are shark fishing spikes that we got to design. So if you see any of the HD shark fishing sand spikes, Blaine and myself collaborated with Deerfield to make these guys. Nice lightweight aluminum, but heavy duty. They've got a PVC inlay, so these nice winter butts right here are not gonna get scratched up on the aluminum, but you're not gonna have these rubber caps that always fall off and get torn up. Um, we have a spotter loop right here, so you can actually take a carabiner clip, clip it to the back of your harness, clip it to the spike, and now you have a always 100% spotter with you. And then of course, that, uh, that aluminum angle right there, really easy to go in. So if you guys want these HD shark sand spikes, you can get them at Deerfield Welding and Fabrication, and you can get 10% off with, with CWW10. So code CWW10, 10% off on only the shark sand spikes, and it helps us out supports what we do so let's get these baits out let's roll he's dragging it around down there and he's tapping my shoulder and then doing the shark sign and he finally just gives up oh, do i get it Look. don't just stay in that harness yeah. the easy stuff in the on the short drop This is one, I feel it. kind of level out once you get tight. There it is. Stuck. Get that. Keep going, keep going. Keep going. Oh! Oh! There you oh, go. hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Jeez, dude. <laughs> I don't think he's very happy with you that you caught him. I don't think he was that uh, hey, happy with you. <laughs> Yeah, just keep up with him on the slacks, and when he gets tight, it can just be real slow and consistent. Got him! Got him! Oh, man. Hey, did you hear about that guy that shot the hog fish last year? I think I saw something Woo! about that. Yeah, that's tight right there, man. Oh, he stopped. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. He's upset with you, guys. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> there you go, that's what it's not it's not even the leaning in the fight and it's like oh, he's gonna turn at me and I'm yeah, yeah, back. yeah 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 <laughs> I'll grab the rod this way <laughs> yeah, he's making a little park right? he's jerking fatty man alright there we go yo Chris I'll take that hook put it with me number one Number one. Down, let's go. Let's go. That's a. She's standing tall too. Yeah, she, she That's the turd y'all see uh, dive, uh, diving. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to pull you the right way. <laughs> Wave. Get on out. Get on out, honey girl. Yeah. Appreciate it. That was fun. Ooh. Yeah, no Ooh. doubt. Monday trip, and then. Um, break on tuesday much needed break the uh, weather was very nice we just didn't have any bookings but we definitely enjoyed the off day chance to recoup a little bit and uh get the gear freshened blaine put new top shot on all the reels charged all the batteries all that good stuff and then um come on brother trip today trip thursday trip friday so we're going today tomorrow friday break on saturday and then going again on sunday why does this thing continue to fall so we're gonna stop in for some groceries here, do the Ray thing again. So we're gonna grab some groceries here at Walmart for tonight's trip. And then we are gonna slide back to the flats again 
and see if we can't find some more fresh bait. So it's been very nice in the springtime. It definitely doesn't happen a lot in the summertime where we were able to just go get fresh bait, at least not fresh countos. So while the opportunity's there, I will take advantage of it. It's also just a good time. Yeah. It's not great. Yeah, it's a good time. <clears throat> it's a good time to use rays too. Yeah. Once again, all the sharks, I think we're six for six this month so far, and every single shark has come on a ray bait. We've got pickups on other stuff, just no commitments. Yeah. We still got all them tuna heads, so we'll see how it goes. But first things first, Walmart. Hello, Mr. Kaunos. Can y'all see him? He's right there. Huh? Yeah. Oja. Kind of a big guy. Don't spook now. It's all gonna be over soon, buddy. Got him! Ah, this never gets old. It don't ever get old. It looks like there's one over there too, Dylan. Yeah, it's right there. This water's very cold. It's colder than it was the other day. This is a perfect little combo right here for exactly this. Little Akuma Tesora 8000 with the JYG Shore Pro Series run. Little rig, I'll show you the rig on it whenever I land this guy. But it's about the best way to do this. Just bring him up like that. But here's a here's the rig that we're using. Weighted treble on the bottom, connected to two additional trebles, 100 pound mono, just for their barb and stuff like that. And Dexterity wise, longevity wise, best way to do it right there. There we go, finally. Hooked one after pulling hook on the last. I think I got this guy in the face, so we should stay on. There we go, Dylan's on. Just in case you guys wonder, a little opportunity here. Coastal Worldwide Performance shirt today pretty toasty throughout the summer. These black shirts are not bad. Um, I like a black clean, uh, clean fishing shirt because when I do rub guts and stuff on it, it won't, uh, you know, won't get really dirty. And then Blaine pressed these at the house. So we did a direct to film. So it's not that vinyl stuff. When you dry it a bunch, it's not going to crack. Um, I've used the absolute mess out of this shirt and it's my only shirt. Only I got two at the beginning and it's the only two shirts I've had. I hadn't had to replace them yet. Tons of blood all over them and uh, they're sport tech shirts. So we try to get some performance shirts. We actually like some stuff that's not going to unravel and tear up on the sleeves and something that I would want to wear so you guys can actually have some nice products. And then we try to price them really nice. So uh, normal performance shirts, you know, Huck or whatever, you're gonna see like 60 bucks. Um, these are like 45, 40 bucks, $45, or something like that on the website. So we order the shirts. They're, they're pressed with love by Blaine and actually comfortable. And the director film stuff, like I said, the DTF non-vinyl and non-screen printing will not crack. So <laughs> bless you, man. Thanks. And we do the same thing on the sweatshirt and on the t-shirt. So everything Wait. is direct to film. Because we want to wear t-shirts that are comfy. We want to wear sweatshirts that are actually warm and comfortable. And uh, we want to, you know, obviously wear fishing shirts. And soon we will be, we have hooded shirts done. We did like a experimental round with the hooded shirts. 
Um, we liked them a lot, so we just literally today I put them in the office. Like what, Blaine? I don't think they're only like 30. 30 or 40 shirts. Um, we gotta get the guys some hooded shirts. We gotta get the guys some performance shirts. We gotta get the guys some t-shirts. But hooded shirts will soon be on the website and they won't be technically replacing sweatshirts because we just got a bunch of sweatshirts into it. Even though it's gonna be summertime, we'll probably just keep them on the website because you never know. C little cool summer night and you need a performance. Yeah. And the performance sweatshirt. So there is, there's the shirt plug. Supports the, supports the channel, supports what we do. But at the end of the day, if you don't want to order a shirt, no big deal. I would just order a shirt. If you like and need a fishing shirt, want to support a local channel and business, but also like, they're actually cool shirts. I, th I think they're pretty cool shirts. Yeah. So, all right. On the way, three o'clock. We've got plenty of time, three hours until trip start time, and we are loaded with rays. Um, Blaine, you want to get some food or something? Yes. I'm hungry, dude. I'm starving. Food time. All right. A little pre-trip audio session. Here we go. Easiest way to explain how to cut up these fresh rays at Lowe's and Home Depot. There's going to be what's called a duck knife. D-U-C-T. Duck knife. All right. Take one of these guys. Let's see if I can knock it off a little bit. We've got a unserrated side and a serrated side. Serrated side, unserrated side. Really sharp and nice. Cut through when you get to a bone. Flip it around. Whap. Right through the backbone and stuff. This is exactly how we cut these rays. We take the wings off, we get four exact baits. You get one wing bait, two wing baits, head section, and then an end section. Perfect right there. Four separate baits on these nice, you know, 18, 20 pound countos, and they'll do the trick, baby. So we're gonna take one of these guys, put probably the wing section on our medium bait. How we've been doing it mainly, short drop, a little bit longer, a little bit longer, longest drop and then on the longest drop has been a ray head on the medium bait uh, it's been a ray wing so we have a ray bait long not as long another fish bait not as long an array bait short fish bait so it's like fish ray fish ray or ray fish ray fish whatever so we're gonna start with the old black fin tuna head over here see if i can give her a toss nailed it and then i'm gonna cut the tail off this bonita here bonita back half like i said whoa 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 all right, this nice little bonita side here will go here and then ray head. Let's do it. You! No, we turn them loose. Yeah. Unless it's a few sharks that we can keep and harvest. We got a bite. We got a bite, my man. First take. Yeah, it's that head section. It's a pretty big bait. Uh, he's going to do the thing. Huh? You're good. Hit him. Oh, look. Look, look. oh snap. Oh, oh, oh. We got a big one. We got a big one. We got a big one. Oh, yeah. Stand back. Yo, that's not a small fish, guys. It's not a small fish. That's a big fish. fish. That's a big fish. <laughs> Holy smokes. Alright, big man. Come here and start cranking on it. Just like Blaine's doing right here. Crank on it. Crank, 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 Alright, you can start turning around. Alright, you want to do the hand for me? Get tight first. There we go. Once you feel that tension, keep those feet square. Oh, turn that turn just a little bit, hips this way. Perfect. Could be a dusky. That's what I, my thought process was. Could be a dusky shark. Pull him back. 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 Pull him back.
In March. In March. Nice dusky hay. Get it moving. Big wave. Gone, you beaut. Is that our first dusky in March? Yeah. Let's go. First dusky of 2024, actually. That's true. First dusky of 2024. And the first one I've ever seen in March. I know they're here, but thanks, bro. I thought you put it. Tiger, 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 Go like crazy, dude. How many minutes have it been since I've been turning this? It's like two minutes, maybe. Two? <laughs> yeah, let's see. 17 minutes. 17? 15 minutes on the rod. That little guy go. <laughs> All right, today's Thursday. So we are over here in Orange Beach. I kind of mentioned at some point we'd talk about the legality of fishing in Orange Beach. Um, you can't fish in Gulf Shores, shark fish. Um, I, you, you're fine in Fort Morgan to shark fish. Uh, we just don't do very good in Fort Morgan. And then really it's pretty straightforward for Orange Beach. And we got this through the head of conservation um, in Alabama, so this is like actual back checked information, but pretty straightforward. You just need access, private access to the beach. Although you don't own the beach in Alabama, you just need to have a condo or a house in Orange Beach, Orange Beach address, not Gulf Shores, that you have access to the beach. So basically they're just saying you can't shark fish from a public access in Orange Beach, Alabama. And then obviously anywhere in Gulf Shores, shark fishing is not allowed. So that's it, that's it. We're about to go past the floor of Bama right here. We're not too far down the road. We got like another 1.3 miles. We're with a, uh, a guy who actually does a lot of offshore fishing in our local area, but he has some family in town. So he booked the trip with us. His name is Jacob Chandler. Um, he does like Chandler sport fishing. He has a, like a really nice boat. They do a lot of trolling for, for billfish um, in our area, kind of over at the fads in the edge area. Um, they're getting really dialed in the last couple of years. So it'll be a cool night um, to just kind of sit, converse, do some, you know, I definitely think there's gonna be some good fishing talk tonight. Um, which is always cool it's nice to sit down with the experienced anglers and uh you know swap stories swap secrets swap theories um swap you know missions and upcoming trips and goals and stuff like that so really we'll enjoy this trip and then obviously if his family's in town they want to catch some sharks we're going to give them a good time best we can got those all those counters yesterday so we're going to be doing it um a lot of firsts so far in march last night no different first dusky shark of the year and first dusky shark we've ever caught in March. Super cool there, really nice shark, really cool experience with the family. And then the first ever six-year-old that we've had reel in an entire shark, and it wasn't on a short drop either. It was on like a 300 paddle, like 400 yard drop. So kudos to Rush and uh, his family had a great time. Definitely enjoyed it. And uh, Pensacola has been on fire, man. Two tiger sharks and a dusky shark. Yeah. And that's three for three. Three for three trips in, in Pensacola on like weird non just like bull shark and sandbars. Bull shark and sandbars, not necessarily a bad thing. It's just neat to see the variety that's coming out of Pensacola right now. So, like I said, over in Orange Beach, we just actually crossed over today. So, um, neat stuff, you know. Get after it. Do the do the thing again. We got another six hour trip tomorrow in Navarre. So we're going like Pensacola, Orange Beach, Navarre, Perdido. Um, this month so far, this will be four four towns we've covered already. We've already ran a trip in Orange Beach, the rough trip on Monday. Um, so nothing nothing too special. Not going crazy, not running anything crazy baits. We're just going to keep consistent, keep after it. Um, obviously, running as many trips as we have. Um, Blaine and I taking 100% of uh, all the trips here. Um, starts to kind of wear on your body a little bit. So really what Blaine and I are um, focusing on now is just getting our sleep getting the nutrition we need, making sure our fluids stay in our bodies, 
Um, you know, we don't actually have to be 100% to give 100% to our clients as far as how we feel. We just gotta get out there and keep grinding after it. Fun fact, I just didn't even think about it. This is the first condo when I went to, um, before I checked into the University of Mobile, when mm -hmm. I like transferred schools. This is where Blake and I came and I used the 9 knot that the handle would fall off and I caught a black tip, two oh, black Lord. tips. But one of the black tips was on my 14 knot Senator. So I'm gonna have to call Jacob here in a second and get the gate code. So. Yeah, dude, I've been, I've been, I've been shark fishing at this condo before. I just had no idea. Look at that. Come full circle. Yeah, this is gonna be weird. It's gonna be a little nostalgic. I had no idea until I pulled up. I mean, I can remember like hunting around this condo for uh, cinder blocks. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Old breakaways. Yeah, feel one way smooth, or the next way is real rough. That's the. All right, baby. Little boo shot. Don't lose those dikes on the way out. Yeah. yeah. Nice work, dude. Dang good start right there. Get out of here, big mama. gentlemen welcome to the neck camera you're here with your main squeeze Dylan and we're about to leader the second shark of this trip and an absolute screamer at that seems like it's got some really proper weight to it so we're gonna see what it is leader hey foul hook peck fin A 
bit, little bit. Go ahead and slide that hook. Let's do him first. I'm gonna read that tag information out. All right, y'all can come for the picture. I'm just gonna be working on this tag, so make sure you're getting good shots. No, I'm gonna get a, see if I can get a picture of it. Best thing I can think is just we'll work on it later. All right, you get pictures? Here, come here. You guys. I hook bar, but I always go back and forth between removing tags or not removing tags. But you gotta remove them if you can't read them. So, Dr. Dryman, I'm sorry I removed your tag, but we'll get you the information. Feel that strap underneath your butt there just kind of sit into it like a chair that'll bring that rod rod tip up and then when you crank yourself you can crank your legs straight and bring that rod tip back down and blaine will just float with you there he's pulling string he's pulling string all right yo here's situated again uh-oh he just grew y'all just closed the door on what is probably the final trip of the week because unfortunately tomorrow's weather does not look very good but you're in the garage right now um nothing terribly special back here but it holds all the gear and uh, it's the best lighting we could find maybe if we face towards this light it'll be the way. so um i hope you guys enjoyed kind of being drug around with us all week um you know two weeks in the life of some full-time fishermen, land based shark fishing charters. Hopefully you guys learned something. Hopefully you guys got something out of this episode. And to be completely honest with you, the main thing is hopefully you guys feel a little bit closer with us because you get to hang out with us all week and uh, we get to take you guys along the adventure. You can anticipate as the videos go forward to be back to our regularly scheduled, nice, clean, higher quality edits. But every once in a while, it's nice to bring the GoPro along and uh, just chat with you guys like yeah. real, genuine dudes that's who we are so we uh we'll catch you guys in the next one we got more trips coming up we got like more but i don't know if we'll keep doing this so hope you guys enjoyed it and uh it's a longer episode so whew, long-winded thanks guys you